Satan has blinded the world, has blinded governments, has blinded presidents, has blinded the secret societies. Satan has blinded humanity. The moment you walk away from the light of the world, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all glory to his holy name, there is only one place for you, darkness, and the prince of darkness is Satan. Israel, the country Israel in the Middle East, has a lot to do with end times prophecies. Has a lot to do with end times prophecies. There are certain things that will have to take place in Israel before the second coming of the Messiah. When humanity lose track of the true divine God, they are blinded by Satan and Satan only. My beloved, So September 11, Hollywood action movie. For America to have some sort of a ground to say it was Iraq's fault by supporting Al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden, look what they've done to America. We need to go and teach Iraq a lesson. Lie. The George Bush administration lied through their teeth. Poor Iraq poor Iraq, and so many other countries. They killed millions of Iraqi people, both old, young, and babies, for their evil deeds and intentions. Absolute evil. From year 2000, it began. Where? In Israel. And it's going to end up with a nuclear war. You see, my beloveds, no matter how smart Satan is, and no matter how intelligent those people who worship Satan, but all of them put together, I don't want to even say compared, but for argument's sake, compared to the wisdom of Christ, they are all idiots, ignorant, foolish, blind to the core. The Lord Jesus can, can turn Satan around and he won't even know what hit him. He can take Satan for a ride and he won't even know what went wrong in, with, with, his, with his way of thinking. The Lord Jesus is beyond any wisdom. So Satan is ignorant. People are ignorant and foolish thinking they can get away with it. God, Jesus Christ, is the creator of the heavens and the earth and everything and everyone, the spiritual and the tangible worlds. Jesus Christ is the rightful owner and creator. Everything is under his control and will always be the case. Always, my beloveds. For them to think they can do all these manipulations, they can do all these war tactics, and they can do all these natural disasters, thinking they are now in charge and in control, they have no idea what God had prepared for them before the creation of the world. They have no idea what God has prepared for them. No one surpasses the wisdom of Jesus Christ. No one. So whatever Satan and those who worship him have planted, a time will come they will harvest and eat from their own deeds. They will eat from their own deeds. The very technology they are being boastful of, the very technology will come back and haunt them and kill them. The Lord will make sure of this. For whoever challenges God must perish. 
must perish. Has to. No two ways about it. 